the washing of hands and utensils as an important part of the Jewish practice can, for us today, seem a, a tad odd, but without some context, we can kind of miss the point. See, the Jewish people were small in population. They were small in power. They were surrounded by much more powerful and populated nations, and they were afraid of being absorbed by these nations around them, afraid of losing their their identity as, as Jews, as God's chosen people. Their washing rituals and a lot more about their faith was designed to help them to stand out among others, to show that they were, in fact, different, set apart by God from everyone else. And they needed their outward visible signs and symbols to prove to themselves and others that they were different, different as Jews, different as God's chosen people. And Jesus becomes angry with the scribes and the Pharisees in that they, they've remembered being different, but have forgotten making a difference. They look the part, but not necessarily play the part, which is so refreshing about Jesus in the eyes of so many. Jesus was what he said he was. He not only said that we should forgive others, but Jesus forgave those who hated him. He not only said that we should be merciful, but Jesus showed mercy to sinners. Jesus not only taught others to be generous, but he was overly generous to those, to us, by giving us what we do not deserve. Jesus not only challenged his disciples to obey God, who is Father in all things, but Jesus obeyed the Father, even to the point of dying on a cross. Jesus not only told us that to be a follower was hard, but he showed us how hard being a believer was in his life of suffering and sacrifice. You know, as a kid, I... I idolized my grandfather, who served in World War II as a surgeon. He helped liberate Iwo Jima, and he had plenty of, of great stories from his time in the service. But I also loved listening to my grandmother, who didn't serve, but was sacrificing with everyone else on behalf of the war effort. I remember and loved hearing about the fact that they had victory gardens, war bonds, tinfoil drives, all so that they could be reminded that they too we're at war. And one of the sadnesses, I think, of our two recent wars is that far too many Americans never felt the cost of a war. Unless you were a soldier or knew one who was injured or killed. It was so easy, myself included, to not be affected by the war. As the sacrifice was borne by so few Many of you have heard me refer to the writings of a German pastor named Dietrich Bonhoeffer who was martyred uh, in World War II. And in his book, The Cost of Discipleship, Jesus is calling each of us to give witness to others that being a Christian is hard. It's not easy. It costs a great deal. But by embracing a hard life of a believer... Joy is found. Peace is discovered. And love is shared. Jesus gave others inspiration, and his whole life was one that gave witness to hope. A hope that said that, that this life, the Christian life, is one that really can be lived. To belong to Christ can impel us to forgive the person who hurt us the most that I really can live with less so that I can be generous. I don't have to look the part necessarily, but I can live the part, even when much is demanded. And much is always demanded of and given by a disciple of Christ.